Good morning YouTube. What's happening? What's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the secondary air injection valve on an M54 engine. Today we're going to be working on my 330i ZHP. Now here you can see we have the secondary air injection pump, the secondary air injection airflow meter with the filter attached, and then that goes down to the metal valve that attaches to the cylinder head on the car. And that metal valve, made by Peerberg, is the one we're going to replace today. Now the P0411 code is for an insufficient flow, and that's commonly found on cars where the valve itself has seized or the vacuum pump stops working. Now to test and see if it's actually the pump, we're going to start the car and just put our hand on top of the vacuum pump and feel and see if it turns on. It will usually turn on for anywhere from 2 to like 60 seconds on a cold startup and it sounds sort of like a vacuum cleaner. As you can see here this one is working, I can feel it vibrating, I can hear it and that's how I know the pump is working. Here is the new valve, it's manufactured by Peerberg. It is about 30 or 40 dollars, maybe 50 dollars, less expensive than the factory unit. However, this is the same brand that is on the car from the factory. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but this is the one I went with. As always, I will link it up in the description below. Now in order to install this, the easiest way to gain access is first to remove the washer fluid uh, reservoir. We'll remove the 10 millimeter nut that secures it to the body of the car. We'll first disconnect both pumps. There's one in the back and one in the front and disconnect the hose connections for the washer fluid. And remove the clip that connects the washer fluid line to the headlight washers. Now fluid will pour out from the pump, so just be prepared for that. Okay, here's where I accidentally deleted the clips where I removed the valve from the cylinder head. So I'll just explain it with text. First we're going to unclip the hose that goes from the valve to the vacuum pump. Then we're going to remove the two 10 millimeter nuts that secure the valve to the cylinder head. Be sure to remove the old metal gasket and install the new one in place. Once we install the new valve and torque it down, it's just a matter of plugging that hose connection back from the valve to the pump and then installing that washer fluid reservoir back into the car. And that's pretty much all there is to it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please smash that like button and subscribe.